Hello. Today I'm going to be speedrunning the Toadstool. The Toadstool is one of the more challenging bosses, with health high enough to withstand multiple hits from a dark sword, the strongest weapon in the game. In this video, I'll do my best to show an easy way to fight the boss right from day one. Due to how long some of this uh, fight and preparation takes, I'm going to be speeding up certain parts of the video. This thing here is a touchstone. You can use it to resurrect yourself if you die, but we won't be needing it today. You'll want to gather lots of grass and twigs. You can use these to make torches, which will help you with the fight last night to nighttime. The next thing we need to find is a cave. First, let's hope we can get lucky with where we spawn in. Perfect, we found the Red Mush Tree Forest. A lot of people don't know this, but the Red Mush Tree Forest actually has a lot of red mushrooms in it. This is exactly what we need for the toadstool. Another useful thing in the caves, light bulbs grow everywhere. They're very common and make a great early game food source. Alright, we have enough red caps, let's get back to the surface. And now we're ready for the fight. I'll just wait until daytime and then we can start, as long as nothing bad happens in the night. Okay, well, the night has ended. Now we just need to wait for the uh, toadstool to spawn. Oh, there he is. Now, I uh, just, okay, I uh, just need to get my weapon out, and we should be ready to start the fight. Now, you're going to want to try and kite it and dodge the attack. Okay, I got, I got hit a few times there. I'll be fine. Okay, good. We beat phase one. Now we just need to get in. Okay, so we lost phase two. Uh, it, it, I guess we didn't make it. Uh, be sure to check back next week for a fuel weaver speed.